okay so let's now talk about self formats another very basic and very important thing you should know before we start working in any excel file so let us add a new sheet in our excel file and let us say we want to write anything in this particular cell the cell name is e4 and you can see we are in column e and row 4 so let us say we are writing something as john so by default the excel has given it a format which is general format but you know that this particular thing should have a separate kind of format and that should that format should be the text format so i will scroll down on this panel here from the top panel and i will give the, the format of text now let us say we want to write a number which is 500 and this again excel has given a general format we want it to have a format of number so having the right format is important to handle the data and now let us say we want to write a particular date which is say 27th of April and uh, 2020 so 2020 and Excel will give it general format again and we want to make sure that we give it a right format and which is the right date format so I will select the short date format for this one which Excel has given it a right format for me so my date format is uh, basically a American format in the settings so it has given it month date and year format so when you will start using your formulas in excel it is important that all of your values are in the right format now if you have to you know deduct these uh, you have to reduce your decimals you can do it quickly from here you will delete this decimal points here or you can add back your decimal points here and if you uh, let me show you the commas as well i will just give it a bigger number i will make it 5000 instead and if you want to apply a comma comma separator you will just click here on comma and Excel will quickly convert it into a comma separated uh, uh, cell and now you can also give it an, a dollar sign it will give it a new format which should be accounting format it, Excel will automatically give it accounting format if you will apply dollar sign and if I undo it I will go back to my original format which is the general format okay so now again going back I can apply my separator I can reduce the decimal points from here and and there there are some other formats i can i can quickly show you you can use currency format accounting format and short date long term long date in the long date you will also see the time as well as the date and then you have the time format percentage fraction scientific and text format so it is very important that we choose the right format now before i wind up one important thing you can apply the format on a complete a complete column or a complete row so i will quickly select all the column and i will say the format here is a number format and now this format will apply anywhere in this column if i write any number here let us say 10,000, excel will automatically apply this format on this column so basically this is the faster way of handling the data you will apply formats on the complete columns and then you can store data accordingly so I hope the formats are clear now.